Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Putty, and welcome back for another edition of Mid-Atlantic Wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, there are many shows on the calendar where you fight for glory or for titles or maybe even for money. But, uh, but tonight, everyone fighting on this card is just fighting for their own little slice of Americana. Welcome to Americana, our April show, and I have some very good news regarding the month. Last month, we only lost $500, which is pretty good. Um, it's not too bad. We're not, we're not hemorrhaging money anymore. Which is a good sign, for sure. Uh, and also tonight we're going to be having quite a barebone show. Uh, there will be one exciting guest who might cost us a bit more money than we're used to. And of course we have a few main eventers on the show. But we are, um, just I'll, I'll, pull back, I'll peel back the curtain, I'll say this um, in shoot. We are not going to have Greg Gage or Roddy on the show tonight. Um, just they're taking a break. They're, one of them's in Japan, the other guy is in, I don't know. California or something, and um, they're just not on the show tonight. And they probably won't be on the show next week either, but they will have, uh, they will be probably here via satellite next week. I'm not too sure. Anywho, um, let's uh, let's get into the show. Uh, there's something I'm thinking about now, because I booked an angle, and I really hope that the, the, the person in the angle that I want to be off screen is off screen. We'll find out. We'll find out when we run the show. Anyway, yep, obviously the only announced match for tonight is the main event of the evening, which is the rematch. Miller Ford versus George Wolf. Can he get his revenge? Let's find out. As we open up the show with Bossman Brayfield, he comes out and says, Guys, we've got a really big show for you tonight. The tag team champions are in action. And in our main event of the evening, George Wolf looks to get his revenge against Miller Ford who beat him last year and has been causing havoc, been in his head this entire last few months. We also have a very special guest tonight, someone who made a name for himself during the Ripcord Invitational Challenge this year, someone who was kind of burst onto the American scene, a bit, uh, someone who you know doesn't come from the US, who, who is from a, a bordering country, and uh, during the Ripcord Invitational really, really made a name for himself. And he's, he's back in MAW tonight, and, uh, and I hope he impresses. I'll get into that a little later. So we start off the show with the Architect defeating Tyrone Gray. I like to think this is just a back and forth. Architect works him over with some technical moves. Meanwhile, uh, Tyrone Gray is just selling. He's selling. He, he works up that baby face comeback. And then this was supposed to be tainted, but I will. Um, and then Architect, you know, pulls the tights and fucks up his baby face comeback. It, it, in a way that only the Architect can. As we move into the Dynamite Express defeating Keith Vegas and Bradley Blaze. Are, are they the new Lost Cause? No, they're not the new Lost Cause. Uh, as Cameron Jones defeats Bradley Blaze with a Fisherman's Suplex. Very nice suplex. I like Fisherman's Suplexes. Uh, very good rating there. Bradley Blaze actually the best performer in the match. Maybe we should give him a test next episode. Uh, following afterwards, you know, Dynamite Express get on the mic and uh, they talk about how they are more organized than they have ever been before. You know, they had a bit of a bump in the road last winter when they lost a non-title match to Tyrone Gray and Nate DeMarcus, but they beat them for the titles and they are very excited for this summer because it is going to be the biggest, and by biggest I mean smallest, Sam Keith Classic ever as the best tag teams in the world will come and compete against us in a tournament style. It is going to be fantastic. The greatest tag team tournament on the earth, and we are going to win it and prove that we are the greatest tag team in MAW history. As we move on to a returning legend, it is Hugh DeAsk, who made a real name for himself during the Ripcord Invitational Challenge with his legendary pirate gimmick. He is the Dread Pirate. He gets on the mic and he says, My name is Hugh DeAsk and I am the Dread Pirate. I did fantastically in the Ripcord Invitational Challenge. I lost in the first round, but I put on one hell of a performance, and I think that I deserve a title shot here in MAW. I am back. I have rode the seven seas for God knows how long, but I have found land, and that land is Washington, D.C. And tonight, we are going to have one hell of a battle, and I will prove that I deserve a title shot. And he does indeed beat Josh Jacobs with a cutthroat driver. The Dread Pirate is back in MAW. And George Wolf comes out for the main event. 
the main event match against Miller Ford, but he gets on the mic and he says, Cheetah Boy, I know you've got a habit of getting into my business, but this is personal and this is revenge, and I swear to God, if you come out here, if you show so dare us, show your face during this match, I am going to destroy you, I am going to put you through a table, and I will make sure that you very much regret that decision. And in our main event of the evening... George Wolf does defeat Miller Ford, and of course, Cheetah Boy does come out to interfere, and Jack just sends George crazy. George picks up Cheetah Boy, he does put him through the announcer's table, which is very small. It's like a very small indie announcer's table. And uh, he just puts him through it, vicious table shot, returns to Miller Ford even more incensed than he was before. And just destroys Miller Ford, and does indeed win the match with a running power bomb. sorry, power slam. Uh, George Wolf is a is a machine unleashed at the moment. He destroyed Cheetah Boy during the tag team match last month, and he has wrecked both Miller Ford and Cheetah Boy two on one during this match. He is a he is the big bad wolf. He is a, a monster right now. Nobody can stop him, and he is proving to be one of the most dominant forces in the company. And in fact, he gets on the mic afterwards and says, "You know what." I think I deserve a title shot. I have been dominant. I have been destructive. I have destroyed everyone in my path. And you know, I think I deserve a shot at being the mid-Atlantic champion. Bossman Brayfield comes out and says, You know what? I think things need doing. I I think there there is a decision to make. Because we have not had a a title match for a couple months. And the contendership scene is very clouded right now. I agree with you, George. You've been on a warpath. But Cheetah Boy has been equally impressive. And he beat you one-on-one. And you know, that Dread Pirate guy is also pretty impressive right now. He came back. He is 1-0 and since his return. And he, he you know, he's got... He, yeah, everyone loves him, right? And the crowd go, yeah, yeah, he's got a legendary gimmick. We like, we like that guy. And, uh, and he says, all right then. So next month, we are going to have a Mid-Atlantic Wrestling Special. We are going to have a Texas Deathmatch. We are going to have a triple threat Texas death match between George Wolf, Cheetah Boy, and the Dread Pirate, Hugh Dask. And the winner will face. The winner will face. Um, Greg Gage for the Mid Atlantic title at Fan Festival. So thank you all for. Uh, well, no, he just says that and face the back. God, I'm terrible. Um, <laughs> but thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, Americana this year. And uh, yeah, oh, I forgot to pre-book that in, that triple threat Texas pack, but a death match. And I am clearly rusty as fuck right now. But that's okay. It's going to be good. It's going to be fine. Very hype. We didn't get a lot of people to this show. It's the le- it is the it's the slump of the year. You know, people are all hyped for the uh, Ripcord Invitational, and then they stick around kind of afterwards. They're like, oh yeah, what's MAW going to do this year? Uh, oh okay. Oh all right then. And then this year is like Greg's not even on the show. Okay. <laughs> all right then. But uh, yeah, in this episode, we had the architect continue his momentum, the Dynamite Express seemingly working on the same page once more after their little slip-up last year, and of course talking about the Sam Keith classic, a big return from a big star from the Ripcord Invitational, the Dread Pirate, Hugh to ask. And in our main event, George Wolf continued his momentum by crushing his uh, his rival, I guess, Miller Ford, and we got announced, uh, we got announced at the end of the show that next month, at Old School Rules, we are going to have a Texas Deathmatch triple threat for the number one contendership. It's going to be violent. It's going to be brutal. It's going to be vicious. We'll see you guys then. I hope you join me. Peace out. <laughs>